Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because mental muscle is necessary for implementing successful business strategies. It's time to learn how to beat your business no matter what life throws at you. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we discuss the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. What's up, beautiful people? Um, I don't know how you're going to take this episode. I've always been known as the lady who will call people out on their shit. And there's a season in people's lives when they like that. That's why I need to be friends with you. That's why I need you as my coach, because you just keep it real. You keep me on my A game. But the more direct my feedback becomes or even the more frequent and the more uncomfortable the more antagonistic people become I've learned that you know I have to give people small doses of the truth because what's the uh, one guy you can't handle the truth so I I want to talk about this whole thing with by any means necessary Versus the arrogance of many of you. You know, I came up in the era when when Malcolm X was becoming a big deal. You know, people like Spike Lee were making movies about him. You know, we were starting to talk about Malcolm X more than Martin Luther King and not because of the, you know, pitting one against the other, but just knowing the fullness of our history and knowing who all was out there fighting for our rights. And so since I've been a young woman, the slogan by any means necessary, um, it's definitely ingrained in my spirit and I'll never be able to say it again without uh, thinking about him. Um, But a lot of people, I was just thinking the other day, a lot of people say it, but they don't like really live by that. I, I know a lot of people who are married to struggle. Uh, there's something in them that feels really good. Because they can say, oh my God, look at me and look at what I'm going through. And then they try to attach the, look at what I'm doing. I'm going to be successful no matter what. I'm going to get this done by any means necessary. And I have found that a lot of times those people are the biggest liars. And most of the stuff that they're going through that they keep on putting out there is actually uh, the shit that they created for themselves. They they were monsters with the way that they handled their relationships, uh, how they took care of their uh, possessions, uh, their finances, whatever it is. And so they're still pushing uh, despite that, but they're really not doing it by any means necessary. Now, why do I say this? Because I look at and I talk to <laughs> women on a consistent basis. I look at them online. I speak to them on connection calls and sales calls. And they're always enamored with the way that I see things in their life and their business and how I can help them. They'll even say things like, I know God put you in my life. Um, I know I need to work with you. But when I say, well, this is what it looks like to work with me. I get the, uh, 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 oh, okay. And then the, by any means necessary mentality goes down the drain. They swear up and down. They want to work with me one-to-one or in a high level mastermind, but they don't want to pay the price, but they want me to extend the attention. And then if I say, and I know back in the day, I would always make some kind of program because my heart would be going out to my Queens. And I would be like, well, if I make a program and it only costs this much, but I still serve to this degree, blah, 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 blah. And then they'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to just wait. You know what I'm saying? Till I run my money up and I'm going to come back to you when I can afford the mastermind. And it's like, Negro, you already don't know what you're doing. 
So what you're saying is that you're going to be so fucking arrogant that rather get the information on the quote unquote lower level, you'd rather just not get it at all. And that's because you're dealing with the embarrassment of, well, if I'm going to work with such and such, and it's not just me, it's other coaches too. I, I'm not joining the program if I can't get in on this level and so on and so forth. Oh, because you don't want to face your demons. You don't want to face your giants. You don't want to face the fact that you held yourself to a standard that you ain't worthy of. So instead of being humble and saying, oh, I guess I just need to start where I can, you making it, you're, you're married to the struggle. Oh, look at me. You know, I would be getting coaching right now, but you know, I got to run my money up and you know, this looking like this. And then you get start talking about inflation and the government and the educational system and these cheap mofos that, that don't want to pay you money for your shit and so on and so forth. When all you had to do was face yourself. See, see what I have found in entrepreneurship is the ones that are the most successful are the ones that are not afraid to face themselves. See, they, I said by any means necessary, and that meant dealing with my shit. So you'll do everything necessary except for face you. You do everything necessary except for face your fears. And you will always be able to say, yeah, but this person did this or that person did that. There's a gentleman. I remember every time something would come up and we would discuss, you know, what was going on with, you know, his uh, business. And he did a lot with um, finances and stuff like that. He would always defer to the, well, you know, you're not actually in this industry, August. So, you know, you don't really get it. And I would sit there and think to myself, um, I do it personally. I don't do it out in the open. You don't know that. But since I don't talk about it, you just assume that I don't understand. But that's how you can marry yourself to your struggle. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just going through something that nobody else on the earth on, on this planet understands. Or it just so happens that the one person I'm supposed to be trusting to help me. Oh, you can help me with everything else. But this piece of my shit right here, I'm going to, you know, defer and deflect and say, well, you can't help me with that because this piece of it you really don't understand you guys have a million and one fucking excuses about why you can't move forward when the only thing you need to say is that in any given moment I will look at something externally and connect it to me internally and then make myself look like a victim and say this is why I can't get ahead and this is where I, why I can't get to where I'm going you don't want somebody to hold you to all of the radicals you don't want somebody to tell you that you're you need to be radically responsible take ownership for your shit that you need radical accountability that you need to have someone to report to because you lazy than a motherfucker or that you need to have radical introspection because you don't focus and you don't think enough you need to be radical 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 and so I want you to ask yourself where am I slipping? Where am I not being introspective, responsible, and being held to a level of, of accountability that just doesn't fucking feel good because it reminds me of how I'm fucking slacking? Ask yourself that. Because I'm going to tell you, those of us who do this on a regular basis, we can't sleep at night and we can barely function through the day if something is off without our conscience being like, damn. Maybe I shouldn't have said that that way to that person. Oops. Okay. I'm wasting time. Mm, I need to do this different. Mm. No, you all, you don't, you don't need all of these, you know, excuses. Just, just fucking check in with yourself. Are you a God or not? I know you believe in God, but do you believe in the God in you? Because the God in you will remind you of your greatness and what you're supposed to do. You know, I, I, I don't, you know, throw religion at anybody, but there is this one scripture in the Bible that says that you're supposed to be not only a hearer, but a doer of the word, because if you don't do what you hear, you're basically like a man who looked in the mirror and beheld his own image. And when you turn away, you forgot what you look like. What is the word that has been dropped in your spirit about you getting to your next level? And are you really hearing it and doing it? Or are you hearing it and then devising a story as to why you can't move forward? So before you go around here talking about any means necessary, 
You make sure that you're willing to face yourself and deal with your shit. I don't care how many jobs you lost. I don't care how many jobs you have to work. I don't care if you got two jobs uh, full time and doing your business as a part time hustle. I don't care how much money you've borrowed, how much debt you're in, uh, how much stress you're under, how much your spouse or your kids are driving you crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that shit, whatever. But you vibrationally. How are you showing up? Take responsibility for your shit by any means necessary means you're going to face whatever the fuck is getting in your way. And if you haven't learned anything within these 10 minutes, you are in your own motherfucking way. (laughs) All right. So, um, I love you all. That's your reflective moment for today. And I'm a holla child. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in